Good morning everyone, Ziggy here from Ziggy Zag and today is technically our last full day here in Japan because early tomorrow morning we'll be heading to the airport and plan for today is to go to Sensoji Temple If you notice the long jacket, this is the one we bought, yes, from GU yesterday. Really nice, guys. Yeah, looking good, eh? Annyeong. Like all our trips is still going to be DIY and utilizing the subway station. You can see that they are very cycling oriented the time now is 10.50 and it makes a huge difference if you're leaving after the rush hour look at the train yeah very few passengers but later as we go to the our destination it will start to fill up I will show you how accurate the timing here of the, of the train. You can see live, I mean not really live, but on the second 15, on this countdown, check it out, the train will start and close its door in 5, 4, 3, 2, one. My bad. A few more seconds. Few seconds delay, but still under a minute almost there exit one to Sensoji temple here at Azakusa station still here at Azakusa station and they have this nice display of gold and uh, I'm not sure what this is and just right outside the Azakusa station one exit are these uh, rickshaw uh, transports you can see here there if you want to avail their services and also at the other corner over there some are already availing the rickshaw transport and if you're wondering of the rate this is the rate they have here Asakusa sightseeing rickshaw so you will be visiting those sites and so here is the rate for one person is 4,000 yen for two people is 5,000 that is 12 to 13 minutes and the longest the popular course is 45 minute tour at 13,000 yen for one person I know that's popular but the longest would be 150 at 38,500 for one person and 47,000 for two people and they're all ready and also here just beside the exit of station one is this Kanondori uh, shops or area just a few meters from the Asakusa station is we are greeted with this hey yo it's a weekday 
but still so many people here guys at Sensoji Temple there are tourists here wearing the traditional uh, Japanese outfit thank you without further ado let us go inside it's a whole lot of people Crazy, crowded. So many different shops here from bath bombs to masks to Japanese samurai to food ah. and to cosmetics right here to traditional clothes. And a whole lot more. The wife liking this bath bomb shop. And they also have lip balm. All that, just a few shops just near the entrance. And a long way to go. This one right here, the 365 lip balm from January and uh, one for each day of the month until December the wife almost got duped and thought that each one cost 365 yen that's a big no it's 1,100 yen for one piece of the lip balm I overheard a tourist guide and they were uh, telling the they were telling the tourist that during autumn it is difficult to walk through here it's like almost a standstill because of so many people during autumn so nice fun fact about uh, here at Sensoji temple area it's kind of smell good sweet and a little spicy I don't know what this is it's like a flatbread or a biscuit you had my own some of the shops can be pretty similar uh, selling the same stuff like um, souvenirs caps uh, clothes and uh, yeah masks even when you walk through the crowd and the shops in the middle here like there's a corner we already have a view of the sky tree so no need for us we don't need to go there and we'll just take the picture here at uh, Sinsoji temple area there's also this temple right here but it is no entry Here at Sensoji Temple area, there are several temples, not just one, there's several. There is another much bigger uh, entrance gate.
the two statues are Bodhisattva Avalokiteshvara on the right and Bodhisattva Seshi on the left. Just behind, I mean, near the second gate where these two Buddhas are, the wife saw that a lot of people were buying from this shop. This one. Japanese matcha sweets. So, she wants to try them. Lots of matcha uh, products. The wife got these here. It's like a pancake matcha. And this one, do you know what this one is? I know specialty. It's their specialty according to her. Um, yeah, it's still matcha based. And we're gonna try it. Uh, both of these at 713. How is the taste? It's good, something different. It's good, something different? Mm. We're able to get this spot here just uh, by the matcha store and we're trying the matcha that we bought. When you buy this, it's only good for the day. You can't eat it tomorrow. It might go bad, I guess. It's soft, chewy and covered in matcha powder. A little sweetish. Mild sweet sweetness. Yeah. That's the best way I could describe it. They're making it fresh right now. It's like jelly. These kids having a yeah, probably a school tour. Yay. Here at Sensoji. We're just finishing the jelly matcha, I think. Yeah, it's pretty much like jelly or glutinous, could be glutinous rice, but more like jelly. Yeah, after that, what's the plan? I uh, just might look at some of the shops and buy some probably souvenirs or something. Now here at Sinsoji, like I said, there are several temples and we just have to roam around to see the less busier temples. Like this one. There's only a few of us. There's this teapot right here. I'm not sure if it's a teapot or something like this. And the wife bought one. The wife saw someone eating like the flat chicken we had at Taiwan. And we're trying to locate that here because that was really good. Okay, we found the shop, the Kagetsuro. Since 1945, they sell this bread right here. This one. And one for 300. Five for 1,500. It is that popular that there are local celebrities enjoying this. So let's try. Yeah, my 300. One, please. Yes. One, there you go. 
ありがとうございます。レタストライ。うん、ナイスイッチメン。はい。It's not so soft, but like light sweet flavor. There seems to be no filling. I would like to be served hot though. We weren't able to find where the flat chicken was, but we found this other chicken place. That has、uh, chicken and cheese in it, so that's what we're、uh, settling for this one. And also, a lot of people are buying from this shop. So, we're、uh, cute outfits. This one,、uh, okay. okay. So, there's A、short queue for the chicken and cheese. Hi, cheese. Okay. 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 It is not chicken, it's beef pork mixed with cheese. Here we go. This packaging. Try it. It's like a ball. Meaty, cheesy. No, I like it. Best way to describe it would be meatball with cheese. We are now leaving here and heading to Akihabara Station because the wife said that in Akihabara there would be like manga and costumes or cosplays, I guess. And、uh, yeah, thank you, Sensoji Temple. On to our next stop. These guys right behind me, ladies, you need a ride, a rickshaw ride. They are available here. Yeah, waiting for your rickshaw needs. We are maximizing our all you can ride subway pass. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. When you're doing DIY like we are, Uh, it involves a lot of walking and no exaggerations. The most walks we had, or the steps we had, was when we went to Shibuya. We, we clocked in at over 20,000 steps that day. Just to give you an idea. Arrived here at Akihabara Station, and behind me is the is a river. Also clean. I forgot the name.、Uh, Ka. And the wife was right. You're popular for costumes and cosplay here. We really don't have a specific spot here in Akihabara. And oh, wait, I can already see it now. The shops. Okay, I remember why we're here now because of the electronic shops, right? Electronic shops manga, and anime, yeah, manga, anime、oh, stuff here. And the way we, we exited at exit 4 and we saw that ahead of us there w e r e a crowd. So we are letting the crowd decide where we are going. We saw earlier there were a lot of people gathering here. Waiting to cross that street over there because I guess that's where the action is. The pigeons here are badass, not afraid of people. Hey, buddy.
probable reason why there were a lot of people crossing over to here was because of it is a train station but hey there's a welcome to Akiba Japan over there there we're going inside this Yodabashi Akiba shop we are being welcomed by Itsami Yamario the gadgets in this shop is a lot there's Chromebooks just to give you an idea although it's Intel system film that price every floor has different specialty like shops like here on this floor they have the cameras and drones these are their prices for the DJI Mini 3 Pro at $29,480 and there's the DJI Mini 4 Pro at $106,000 I mean depending on your preference guys I almost got duped I saw this DJI 3 Mini Pro at 29,480 yen that's only about a little over 11,000 or less than 12,000 pesos and I thought this was the whole thing and you know the DJI Mini 3 Pro fly more and I had to ask and <laughs> I was gonna go for it but no that, that price is only for these without the, the drone itself you need to have your own drone to I mean yeah to be able to use that because this is discontinued they have the new one the DJI 4 Pro and so the just to give you an idea the price for the whole thing DJI uh, 3 fly more combo with uh, this remote is this price it got me chills. I thought I was bringing home a DJI drone. They got loads of different types of straps here as well. That's a lot of straps. Straps, straps, and some more straps. They even have a drugstore here. This is the wife's thing, so I'm leaving her here and come back for up to 20 minutes while us let us go and explore they got garmin wristwatches here at these prices these are huawei this one on sale at 21 2000 wait Oh, okay, 21,820. Check out this Raji shop, guys. And they also got Ray Bans, Wayfarers. Nice. Those were expensive for you. They got the cheap ones here. This floor looks more like it. It's where the toys are. Lego. I am your Lego. <laughs> and they have R2D Lego. Nice. And they also have Lego Hamario. Hey. And they have Gundam here. That's free. These guys. Oh my god, there's Mazinger Z here. Please don't have Voltron here. Please don't have Voltron. You're gonna hurt me. And 
this place is a crafter's wet dream. They also got Zoids. The Mad Titan. Hey, they also got Tamiya cars or Tamiya. My generation. Ah, cool, so cool. Ah. You come to Japan without shopping money, it's gonna hurt you. Guys, I'm hurting, I'm hurting. Guys, all the toys for the big boys that you could think of. Let's see here. Oh my god. And Akihabara. Look at those. Nissan GTR. So glad there's no Voltron yet. Please, let there be none. There's the Stormtroopers. This is Disney Star Wars and there's this guy Optimus Prime Just kidding I've stumbled upon the western section There's Marvel here Cyclops and across it are Star Wars some more Disney characters here oh my god this okay this is Transformers okay not Voltron okay Badass! Oh, hot! I like it here. Zoids also here. Damn. Outdoor items here like bikes. Damn, this Bianchi looks good. And this price. It's a gravel bike. I guess 451,000 yen. Some more bikes. Here. I'm glad there was no Voltron. Now, guys, you might wonder why Voltron. Uh, I just like to share that when I was a kid, and my dad bought me a Voltron die cast metal, and it was expensive. It was one of the most expensive toys I got back in the day. And yeah, I was a kid back then, didn't know any better, so kind of broke it or yeah, yeah, didn't know how to take care of it. So it was, it, it got broken eventually. And yeah, it, it just brings back nice memories if, you know, there was a Voltron like that to have it again. So th that's basically the reason why it's Voltron because I used to own one. There's this Ginda, uh, Tsukiji Gindaku just outside uh, Akiba shop and we're having what's this classic classic takoyaki The time now is 4.10 in the afternoon. We are still at the Akihabara station. And from here, we will go to Tokyo station to confirm and uh, locate first the Narita airport bus. 
so that early tomorrow morning we can go directly to the bus station unlike what happened if you're gonna look at the previous episode of this vlog japan vlog series wherein we almost didn't make it to our bus to kawaguchi or to mount fuji so we won't make that same mistake again of not knowing where the bus station is